Toy Addicts, it's Jody. Check out this fun Miss Pac-Man arcade classics game that I got for Christmas. And actually, I didn't get it for Christmas. I actually got it from, you know, we did one of those gift exchanges where everybody brings kind of a random gift and then you get to steal it and stuff. Anyway, um, my sister bought this for the gift exchange and I won it. It also came with some New York seltzer and some nerds and some pop rocks because, you know, the 80s. Kitty cat. The kitty cat wants attention. But I, what I thought was really funny is that this box looks like a Funko Pop box. Don't you think? If you look around it, don't, don't you think they made it? to look just like a Funko Pop box and I thought maybe it was actually made by Funko because of that but it's actually made by Basic Fun so um, not Funko but interesting interesting that they did that here's the top of the box so once we open it up you can see that inside the box even they have um, Pac-Man theming, Miss Pac-Man theming, and I already took the stuff off on the back. There was a bunch of stuff on the back, you know, so I took all that off. Okay, so let's take a close look at the cabinet here. It's your standard 80s video game cabinet shape. And you can see there's like decals on the side. This company makes other games. Um, I know they make Rampage and Galaga and I think also Joust. Um, and then on the back here you have your battery compartment. And these to me look like they would be for hanging it on the wall. I don't know what other purpose they would serve. So maybe they want you to hang it on the wall, which, you know, that might be cute. And it looks like your standard Miss Pac-Man machine, which is really cool. And then you have your controller there, your joystick, and your start button. You also have an on and off switch and a volume switch. So when you turn it on, you get this little screen here. And it just stays on the screen. You don't get the regular Miss Pac-Man screen where she kind of goes across and down and then the ghosts come down and say their names and everything. You just have this screen. But listen when you click the start button. So when you first start it, you get the game board and then your quarter goes in and then you get the music. And the controls... They're okay. You're not going to win any championships. Um, another thing I noticed is that uh, you aren't going to be able to save your high score. It doesn't save when you turn it off and back on. So if you're a high score person... You're just going to have to keep track <laughs> because it won't save it for you, unfortunately. But other than that, it's pretty good. I haven't actually gotten past this level yet, uh, or the, the second level, to see how the, the um, next boards look. I'm assuming it has all the boards. Um... And so what I wanted to do now was I wanted to compare it to the vintage tabletop version of Miss Pac-Man. This is the vintage one. This came out in, I believe, 1983 and from Coleco. I don't have the C batteries to work uh, for it to work. But I can tell you that it, so we might have to do that on another video when I get some C batteries. Also, the battery compartment's pretty corroded. Um, I have gotten this to work before, but uh, it looks pretty bad in there. So we'll have to, when I get some C batteries, we'll have to test it out and see. 
Um, but as you can see, this is quite a bit larger. It does have the same kind of graphics on the side, but this has more of a brighter blue, which I think is more true to the Miss Pac-Man. And of course, you know, from the 80s till now, it doesn't need this much space for electronics and batteries anymore. Um, but I do also kind of like this bigger size because it is a little bit easier to play. The, actually, the joystick is about the same size, but you kind of have a little more space for your hands, which is nice. Um, this also has two skill levels. So it's just, you know, regular and then a little bit faster, I think. Um, but I can tell you that the graphics on this aren't anywhere near the graphics on this. They don't look like the original game at all. It's mostly, um, just kind of blue dots on the screen. You, can... you know, of course, 1983, the technology isn't going to be the same as this, um, but it is still pretty fun to play. So overall, this one, and look at the graphics here, and then the graphics here, like, they, they made it so much bigger and nicer, and I think it would have been nicer if they would have made this a little larger, so you could have a whole um, game, like the back glass on here, like a regular game, instead of just this tiny little thing. That would have been a nice touch, I think. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've played either of these and which one you think is more fun. Fun to play. This one for sure. This one, I think, just kind of looks a little cooler. <laughs> uh, they're both a lot of fun and they're awesome to have. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to comment down below like the video, subscribe, and now that I'm monetized again, I would really appreciate it if you watch the commercials. See you next time. Bye.